The fate of Elmira's historic Brand Park pool is expected to be addressed at Monday night's City Council meeting here at City Hall. Now, the city says it wants to demolish the pool as early as next month, saying it's beyond repair. Now we're learning there was still time to save it back in 2010. The 2010 Brand Park Memorial Pool Historic Structure Report says the pool's condition was getting worse since it was last analyzed nine years earlier. But the report says there was still time to save it. The report lists several issues and necessary fixes. They include replacing or stabilizing the pool's brick walls, adding, quote, while costly, this procedure is feasible. It also says one-inch wide cracks in the walls should be monitored for continued movement. The cracks can be repaired and sealed. The report says overall, the concrete decks and pool are in good condition for the age of the structure. The concrete appears to have been high quality material. Any areas of deteriorated concrete in the decks and pool can be restored using the correct materials. The pool was around 60 years old at the time. The report also says, quote, the possibility of using the structure as a wading pool should also be feasible. It concludes, quote, in my opinion, the structure is a good candidate for restoration. However, the work should not be postponed too much longer, say a couple of years, or the condition could worsen rapidly. The total projected cost to restore the pool was estimated at $1.6 million. Mayor Dan Mandel was not in charge in 2010. He has said keeping the pool open would have just been too expensive. It's, it's a very big. When's it going to go away? Um, now we think we got a date. It's not settled yet, but March or April. One thing we didn't realize is we have to get approval from the state because I believe years ago they did get a grant from New York State uh, Parks and Recreation and uh, Preservation. So we're just waiting for that final approval. And then when the weather breaks, it'll be coming down. Um, we'll be building on a, a splash pad. But I do want to mention this, too, is that um, we're waiting to hear from our downtown revitalization initiative uh, application, see if that gets approved. If it does, it's going to change exactly what our plans are going to be. Still be a splash pad, but uh, maybe something more grander. Former Elmira mayoral candidate Jim Hassel told 18 News he will speak in favor of saving the pool during the public comment portion of Monday night's city council meeting. Now, as the city waits for final approval from the state to demolish it, it's unlikely Mr. Hassel's remarks will sway the city's decision. We will have his full speech on our website. That's mytwintiers.com. In Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.